You want action? You want heart-pounding fights? You want to see the best MMA fighters of tomorrow, today? Then welcome to Texas Fight Night. We're at historic with Grave Stadium in Fort Worth, Texas, home of the Fort Worth Cats. We're in the pitcher's mound where some of the biggest names of baseball have played. Babe Ruth, Joe DiMaggio, Lou Gehrig, Jackie Robinson. But tonight, we are in a cage, and we are here to take a look at some of the fastest rising stars of Texas MMA. Welcome to Texas Fight Night. Don't change that channel. More Texas Fight Night coming up. Welcome to Texas Fight Night at the historic LaGrave Stadium in Fort Worth, Texas, home of the Fort Worth Cats. I'm Scott Casterline, and this is Bubba Norton. Scott, we're going to have some new history made tonight as we have mixed martial arts taking place right here on the pitcher mound at this historic venue. Next up is Tony Tipton versus Jose Cabral. Hey, Jose Cabral is fighting out of No Pain MMA there in San Antonio, and they are training some talented mixed martial artists there. Cabral nicknamed the Metro Warrior because, much unlike you, Bubba, he has a Metro haircut. There is nothing Metro about a Bubba, Scott. But you better be nice to me or I will sick Jose Cabral's trainer, Marcel Lumacang, after you. Marcel, affectionately known as the Filipino hand grenade. There he is on... Jose's left. Cabral's one and two as a pro. He won his pro debut by knockout. Speaking of Team No Pain there in San Antonio, they got two young kids, a 14 and 12 year old fighting out of there now that have already fought some MMA smoker events with headgear and shin guards inside a cage. They're undefeated. Danny and Alan Aru. As soon as they're of age, I guarantee you they'll be right here on Texas Fight Night, Scott. Here's Marcel. He left his shin guards at my gym one day, and I kept him in my office. I was scared to death he might show up asking for him. <laughs> if he did, I was going to have him handy. That school, they are training some talented, talented mixed martial artists there. He is definitely going to be a striker, um, training with Marcel Lumacane. He's a phenomenal Thai boxer. Classic striker versus jiu-jitsu black belt matchup. Out of the wet corner, Jose Cabral. Now coming out of the blue corner, weighing in at 155 and three quarter pounds, standing at five foot 10 with a professional record of one win and no losses. From Genesis Jiu Jitsu, Tony Tipton! Seemed like somebody was telling us that Tony Tipton was going to try to use his hands first and Jiu Jitsu second. I don't even know why you would do that with a Jiu Jitsu black belt. You know, that's what you got it for. Put it to use. Put him on his back. Submit him. Well, I think Tipton wants to, to see where he is in his MMA. I'm going to tell you what, if he's training with that man right there, Dern Lamb, on how to use his hands, he's in the right camp. Tipton is known as the consummate pro. Takes the word professional very seriously. See, you got a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you are dedicated. They don't hand those out, we were saying earlier. How long, Bubba, would it take generally? 10 to 12 years. To get it wow. Done. Depending on the instructor. They don't hand them out, because they don't like seeing their black belts get choked out or armbar. Get on in there, Mr. Tiffin. So like Bubba said, this is a classic wrestler versus striker matchup. Again, Rafael Casillas has done a good job of hitting those type of fights for us to see. I think it gives the fans what they want. Getting ready for round one. Here we go. Here we go. Discuss rules of both of y'all. Do you understand? Yeah. you understand? Touch gloves, go to your corners. Don't go far. You are watching Texas Fight Night, only on Tom Warner Cable Sports Channel. Texas Fight Night in Premier Fight Series is proudly brought to you by Corona Extra. Get ready for round one. Here we go. Here we go. See, right away, look at the difference of footwork right there. Cabral, and right away, Tipton goes for that single leg, and that's not where you want to be with a jiu-jitsu black belt and side control on you. See how he's got his, elbow, his shoulder right there pinned him up? That is the most uncomfortable position in the world. Right away, he goes right away to mount. Oh, this is not an enviable position. He's got his back. 
Let's see what Cabral can do here, Scott. He's going to try to stand up and slam him. But Tipton, you got a black belt with both his hooks in here. That is not good. He's not up too high yet. See how Cabral's trying to slide him down, get his hips up above his shoulders, and makes it easier to shake. Tipton's hanging on, rolls right back around. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Is he going to try to sink in a choke here? Cabral's trying to get wrist control here. He's got his chin tucked, trying to make it tough. Let's see what Cabral can do here, man. If, uh, this is not where I would want to be. The one minute in this fight, and Cabral's in trouble. Oh, he reverses him. He gets spinning around. Can he stand back up? Nice. He gets it standing back up. He doesn't get submitted. Let's see if he's able to create a little distance right now and put his striking to work. He throws a knee. Tipton's like he's going to try to go for another takedown. He's got double unders there. Foot stomp. Underutilized in mixed martial arts, and they do hurt. Just drop a brick on your foot when you go home, Scott, and let me know how you, what do you think about it. You're going to pass on that one. <laughs> Smart man. All right, Cabral's working that underhook right, or that overhook right there. And right there, he's going to try to fish that right arm right there for an elbow and try to pull down tip and maybe try to get a couple knees in. Classic heavy half, heavy half position there. Working knees to the inside. Oh, Tipped is wearing our favorite, Cruise Combat Shorts. One of our sponsors. Yes, he is. All right, neither one of these guys are advancing their position. Let's see if Aladdin doesn't split it up here. Oh, he gets him down. Take down. Boom, catches a knee. See, it doesn't look like Tipton's wanting to strike here a whole lot. He's keeping uh, Cabral tied up here. He's working for a takedown, which is where he wants to nice. Good right hand. Good left hand by Cabral. Turn that into an elbow, and right away. See, Tipton doesn't have the, the, the striking skills that Cabral has yet, but he doesn't need them. Cabral's typical tie boxer mixing in elbows there. Tipton wisely ties him up. You taste an elbow or two, and, and you're not going to let him do that more than one. Both these guys are working foot stomps. Good round for Tipton. Cabral did a great job of getting back to his feet. Yes, he did. But unfortunately, that doesn't score points with these judges. They're going to say, what were you doing on your back in the first place? Yeah, Tipton had him in trouble early. All right, let's see if old Jose can't keep this fight standing up. That's, that's where he's going to want to do. And to do that, he probably needs to try to get to the center of that cage. Front kick by Tipton. There's nowhere to run if Tipton starts pressing the action here, working for a takedown. Right there, just like that, he shoots in for a double, and they're clinched up, pummeling off the cage right away. But see, Jose cannot utilize his striking right here. Tipton's just smothering him with his wrestling right here. Classic break from the clinch right there by Cabral. Elbow to the face. Those punches don't do anything. And you need to be careful, he's going to end up back on the ground. Tipton's just relentlessly working for this takedown. Well, Tipton wanted to try his hands first, but obviously he's going to his strength. Evidently, he decided better. He's wisely duck, ducked the elbow right there. See how he just smothers Cabral, keeps him from utilizing his punches, his kicks, and his knees. It's an ugly match for, for your average fan. They don't understand what's going on, but it's very technical right here. Another foot stop by Tiffin. Push down the head and get away. That's 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 he works that little down. dirty elbow in right there. He's trying to get some shots in every time they break from a little bit of the clinch, but Tiffin is just smothering him. He's relentlessly working for this takedown. And if you're just defending a takedown, you don't get any points for that. Nice elbow, oh, nice good, punch. Good See, shots, he off the clinch, he scores. But he needs to figure out a way to keep him getting clinched. And the best way to do that is to trade places with Tony Tipton right there and get to the center of that cage there. Switch it around. 
and start working a circle so he doesn't push you back and shoot in for that takedown. Boom. Right there, he doesn't sprawl in time and ends up on his back. This is not where you want to be with a jiu-jitsu black belt in your guard. Tipton's got him in half, or he's in the half guard. Cabral's half guard. He's going to start trying to push and pull that right leg out and get to his side here. Watch. About 40 seconds left in this round. Trying to pull Tipton's that leg out. Yeah, he's trying to pull that leg out. He's going to have to hurry. He's almost got on the full mount, and he does. He's got his back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, let's see if he can't get that rear naked choke this time. Oh, he's fishing for it. He's fishing for it. Nice reversal by Cabral. Ends up in Tiffin's guard. Let's see if he can't get some ground and pound here. Tiffin's got him locked up pretty good, and he's back to his feet. Both these guys are doing a great job of getting this fight back to their feet, not letting the other guys stay in dominant position. Ten seconds. Keep the pressure on him and breathe. Watch the elbow. Break. There's the end of round two. More of the same. Tipton's not letting Cabral use his striking to his advantage. Tipton looks to be in control of this fight. Expect more of the same in round three, Bo? I'm afraid so. I don't know why he would change anything up. What does Cabral have to do? He's got to try to keep this fight from getting clinched up. Keep from getting tied up, and he better start throwing some kicks and some punches. Tipton's not letting Cabral use his striking to his advantage. And he's using his experience right now. Get ready for round three. You saw it be a good one. If he goes back to the ground again, it's just going to be more of the same. Tiffin just muscles him down, starts working immediately for his back. Cabral turns and faces him. Tiffin's back to his feet. See how he keeps his hands tied up right there? So he can't use his punches, and he can't use his elbows, and he surely can't throw a kick. This is just wrestling. This is why wrestling is so important to mixed martial arts. Superior wrestlers just cause the strikers all kinds of problems. Now, he is throwing some, some elbows. elbows. If Tipton finishes his takedown fit attempt, it's going to cause more problems for Cabral, and there we go. He's just relentless. Side control by Tipton. He was trying to go to mount, but got caught in half guard. Now he's going to have to pull that right leg back out and get back to side control. Cabral's doing a good job. There, he's got him a mount. Let's see what he can do from here. He's got him mount. He's going to start working those knees up underneath Cabral's armpits. He's got a good base. He's ground, ground and pound by Tiffin. Yep, there you go. He gives up his back, which you do not want to get. Hey, nice reversal by Cabral. Cabral is just stubborn. See, it's unusual to see a striker get back to his feet as many times as he has against a black belt. But once again, that's not going to score you any points with these judges. No, we're getting to a point now. Cabral's going to have to win by knockout or something. They've got a minute and 20 seconds to, to do something here. I just don't see him submitting Tipton. No. Tipton's got him right back down on his back. Cabral is doing a great job of fighting off these submissions and getting back to his feet. He's just not able to do anything when he gets back to his feet. He just gets tied right back up and put back down. Great effort. About a minute left. Tipton's got him mounted, smothering him. He's just waiting for Cabral to make a mistake and twist over and take his back. Watch. Got him pinned up against the cage. He can get, there he goes. He's got his back. He's, we got a hook in, he's, got, he's got both hooks in, and he's got that right arm underneath his chin right there. If he can get the, there you go. Oh, he may there have we it. go. Doesn't look to be quite deep enough. Tough to tell from here. Oh, he's got that in a classic, classic rear neck and choke he's working here. Can Cabral hold it off for 24 seconds and reverses him. And look, he's right back to his Ooh, feet. Good, good throws length. a knee, push off and get out of there, Cabral, and start throwing some punches, man. 20 seconds, 15 seconds. Tiffin just does a great job of keeping him tied up. Cabral's done a great job this whole fight of getting back to his feet. But there you go, there you go. Left. There's a little guillotine attempt. Too little, too late, I'm afraid. Yes. Great effort by Jose Cabral. Getting back to his feet against a legitimate Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, but it's just not gonna be enough. I'd have to give that fight three rounds and none to Tony Tiffin.
Scott, taking a look at this replay here, you see that Tony Tipton's wrestling and jiu-jitsu made the difference here. He kept the striker, Jose Cabral, tied up, kept Jose on his back. Now, Jose did a great job of getting his fight back to his feet, which is a tough road to hoe against one of these jiu-jitsu black belts. But unfortunately, that's not going to score well with the judges. He wasn't advancing his position. Hey, Jose was going to have to get a submission to win this fight. Or a knockout. Or a knockout. He was getting covered up by Tony Tipton right there. He wasn't going to get the knockout. And getting a submission against a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, that's a tough road to hoe. Two young fighters. I'm sure we'll see them again down the road. I know we'll see Tony Tipton again. I look forward to watching many more fighters coming out of that No Pain Gym in San Antonio. Judge John Don Turnage. Dan Matheson and Kent Bassinger score it 30 to 27. All for the winner from Genesis Jiu Jitsu, Tony Tipton. There you go, Tony Tipton. No surprise there. I'm sure Cabral knew what he signed up for when he took this fight.